So, you want to hang acoustic foam panels, but you don't want to damage your walls and you don't want to pay too much for fancy materials, then you've come to the right video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hang acoustic foam panels on your wall without leaving any marks. Before hopping into the video, if you like my content, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'm trying to get this channel up to 1000 subscribers and your support is really appreciated. So I decided to make this video when I was looking at trying to hang the foam panels on my wall. And a lot of the tutorials I saw online looked at nailing a hole in your wall, they looked at mounting one of these foam panels to multiple boards and then mounting the board to the wall. And it just seemed like a lot of work where I didn't want to have something permanently in place because, well, what if I didn't like the color scheme or what if I needed to change things around? I didn't want to have holes and marks. Uh, where a foam panel once was. So I decided to try and find a method on my own that would be movable and wouldn't leave any marks on my walls. So the only materials you'll need are duct tape and painter's tape. And of course, scissors. All of these can be purchased at your local dollar store or hardware store, making your entire purchase less than $5. So before making this video, I tried it out in my own room here, as you can see from the left and the right hand sides here. I wanted to make sure that the panels would stay in place before recommending this technique to anybody else. I'm happy to say that after about a month, none of the panels have moved or fallen from their place. So exactly how did I get these acoustic panels up with only duct tape and painter's tape? Let's hop into the tutorial now. Okay, so as I said before, we need duct tape, painter's tape, and of course the foam panels. So for this part of the video, I'm showing you how to hang the acoustic panel from a regular horizontal format. If you wanna get creative and hang it at a 45 degree angle, I'll show you that one later as well. So what you're going to need to do is cut two pieces of duct tape about two inches in length. Now you take the duct tape and stick it to the adhesive part towards the corners of the foam panel. You wanna stick this to the top corners of the acoustic panels. Why the top corners? Well, the foam panel has a little bit of weight and the duct tape on the back is where the foam is actually gonna hang from. If you put it anywhere else, gravity is gonna do its thing and the panel and the foam panel will start to tilt or start to fall. Make sure that when you attach the duct tape to the foam panels that you apply a firm pressure to really make sure the duct tape sticks to the foam panel. Next, you're going to wanna to take a small amount of painter's tape loop it and stick it over the top of your duct tape. Now, the only tape that's actually going to touch your walls is the painter's tape. And this tape is specially designed so that it won't damage your walls when you remove it. Now, when you attach the foam panel to the wall, you're going to, again, make sure you apply a firm pressure where the tape meets the wall. This makes sure that the painter's tape sticks to the wall and to the duct tape evenly. And that's it. You now have your foam panel mounted onto your wall. I really like this technique since it's not permanent. When you're sticking them to your walls, you can easily attach or reattach the panels and you can create different designs as well as move things around as you need them. Speaking of designs, the two tape method works fine if you're hanging your panels horizontally. If you wanna hang the foam panels on an angle, what you're going to need to do is add tape to the top three supporting corners once you do this, you're going to find that the foam panel stays in place without any issues. Well, that's it everyone. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions or want to tell me how you hung your acoustic panels, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.